Welcome to July's Leaco Challenge. Today's problem is word search. Given a 2D board and a word, find if the word exists in the grid. The word can be constructed from letters of sequentially adjacent cells, where adjacent cells are those horizontally or vertically neighboring. Say we're given this board and with the word A, B, C, C, D, we can see that it exists through this path, A, B, C, 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 uh, C, E, D, so we return a true. If we're given a word like A, B, C, B, we can see that that one actually doesn't exist because we could create it by going A, B, C, back to B, but that would be um, reusing a cell, so that doesn't count. Okay, so when I first saw this question, I thought I'd seen this before or some variation of it. And if I recall correctly, we used trees to save on uh, some optimization, but Given that we're only given one word here, I don't think it's going to require us to create a tree. Um, what we'll do is go with a depth first search recursive method. And we'll check starting with each cell if we could move down each path to create the word. We'll mark the position that we're at for the word as well as the rolling column. And then like say we start with A, we can see that at position 0, A exists. Then we'll check up, down, left and right and move the position up to 1 and see if that one exists. And each time we do this, we could continue on to see if this word exists once the position is greater or equal to the length of the word, then we can return a true. Uh, but one thing to note is we'll have to mark each cell that we've already visited somehow. And to do that, I'm just going to, you can use a dictionary possibly, but I don't think that's necessary. You just need to, let's say, um, temporarily make this cell equal to something else. I'll, I'll just make it equal to null. And once we are out of the recursion, we can revert it back to whatever it was originally. So let's start by initializing a couple of variables. We'll start with the width and height. First, the width is going to be equal to the length of board zero. Now the height is going to be equal to the length of the board. And I'm going to call this P is going to be equal to the length of the word. And this is what's going to help us know if we could end our recursion, that we we found a word inside of our inside of our board. So next, we want to write a helper method, right? And what I'll do is pass in the row and column, as well as the current position we're at for this word. And for now, I'm just going to write a pass. We'll, we'll write that later. So for each row in the range of m to each column in range of n, we'll call our helper method. And if it returns a true, if helper rc and position starting with 0, if that returns a true, then we can return a true. Otherwise, we checked every single cell to begin with, and we couldn't find something that returns a true, so we'll return a false. Now let's write our helper method. So what's our base condition? And as I said before, that's going to be if the position is greater or equal to P, we can return true because we've found that we could create this word, right? So that's it. Otherwise, we need to make sure that some condition is hit so that we could continue our recursion. So there's two things we want to make sure. We want to make sure that we're still inside of our grid. We're not out of bounds. and this position that we're at now is equal to the word um, at this cell. So if, let's start with the out of bounds thing. Um, make, sure, make sure that the row is greater or equal to zero and less than M. And same thing with the columns, greater or equal to zero and less than N. And this board that we're, this current cell that we're at is equal to current word position that we're at. And if all these conditions are met, then we could recall our recursion. Now we want to do this for the next position and we also want to do this for, we want to do it four times. We want to say up, down, left, right. So this is going to be um, up, down, this will be left, this will be right. But also remember that we need to return a Boolean if, if we've been able to return a true, right? So what we'll do is say if 
this one returns a true, or this one returns a true, or this one returns a true, or this one returns a true. Then, well, you know, return a true. Otherwise, um, none of these conditions are hit, so we can just return a false. Now, as I said before, we need to mark this cell to say that we've already visited here before. And not only that, we need to, once we're finished with this recursive part, we have to um, backtrack it and say, and revert it back to whatever it was tempor whatever it was before. So let's start with initializing a temp variable and I will store whatever is inside this cell here first. Then I will mark it as visited by making it a none. And once we're finished with our recursion, we can revert it back to whatever the temp variable was. All right, so that should be it. Let's go ahead and submit that. Oh, little syntax error here. And another one, okay. Let's see. Okay, so that didn't work. We returned a false. Hmm. Oh, why, why, why? Let's see. Oh. Okay, I think I messed up some of these. R. Is that why? Let's see. Okay, so that looks like it worked. Let's go ahead and submit that. And there we go. Accepted. Uh, so the time complexity on this, I'm not completely sure. I, I believe it's a m times n to the m times n power, I, I think. Um, maybe not, though, because it, it might be less than that. It might be m times n um, uh, squared. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not entirely sure, unfortunately. Uh, so I, I should probably look that up. Um, but anyway, ho hope that uh, helps you out. I mean, this is the way I solved it. There's probably better ways, uh, but it's perfectly acceptable. I think it was like around 50% of, of some faster than other submissions. So yeah, I think I'll end it here. Thank you very much. Um, and remember, do not trust me because I know nothing. <laughs>